So the energy needs, um, then the deal is people want to be in balanced. The amount of energy they take in should be the amount of energy they expend per day. And if you're in energy balance, then your weight will stay constant. If you're taking in more calories than you are using, then the calories has to go somewhere, so they're stored in the chemical bonds um, in fats. Um, and if they are, uh, if you're if you're not taking in enough calories, then the amount you're expending less energy than you're expending, then your your weight is going to go down. So um, there's this this kind of give and take with um, how to maintain your your body weight, and it, and it depends on how much energy you're burning per day. And so to um, come to understand like why some people can eat more and they don't seem to be more, any more active than anybody else but they still don't gain weight has to do with your basal metabolic rate. There's this baseline amount of energy that um, an individual burns um, per day and it's called your basal metabolic rate and it depends on a lot of factors. It depends on um, how much you weigh. It also depends on um, just how active you are. Some people when they're not active they really um, they're really not moving at all some people in activity they're still you know moving around a little bit and stuff so anyway there's a lot of factors but you can estimate um, based on your weight you know how much energy at rest you should um, expend in one day and that's called your basal metabolic rate so anyway um, what it is is it is um, f for people roughly on average they burn about one calorie per kilogram of body weight per hour. Okay, that's the that's the uh, average basal metabolic rate. So based on um, how much you weigh in units of kilograms, you can estimate how much energy you expend per day. And so say uh, for uh, somebody who weighs, say, 121 pounds, 121 pounds is the same as 55 kilograms. And so somebody that weighs that much, um, to figure out how many calories they expend, it's just one calorie per kilogram per hour. So just multiply it by the number of kilograms, 55 kilograms times 24 hours in a day. And you get, for an answer, um, 1,300 calories per day. Okay, so that, that means is for this individual, on average, if they don't do anything extra activity, they're going to just burn just, just to keep their body temperature at 37 degrees Celsius and to keep your heart beating and, um, and um, your brain thinking. It takes 1,300 calories a day. Okay? All right. So let's try another calculation. So figure out, why don't you guys figure out individually how much um, calories you need uh, per day. All right, so say you weigh 165 pounds. Okay, that's the same as 75 kilograms. So you could calculate your BMI. BMI is going to equal the rate, which is one calorie per kilogram per hour times the total weight times the total hours in a day is 24 here on Earth. And um, that particular person then, because they just because they weigh more, they're going to burn, um, just to stay alive, 1,800 calories a day. And um, every day, they're an active person. They jog, uh, let's say, one hour a day. Okay, so then we want to figure out how many total calories. That's just to stay alive. Then add some activity. Um, there's some, here is, where's jogging? Jogging is right here. If you jog at a rate of five miles per hour for one hour, you're going to burn, and this is for an average person weighing 70 kilograms, we're a little heavier, but it's about the same, um, 590 calories per hour, okay? So if that's the case and they're going to jog for one hour, that's going to add an additional 590 calories. So that individual, the total amount of energy they're going to burn in a day is 2,390 calories. That means they can eat that many calories worth of food and um, maintain their body weight. All right. And so there's a table here, the next table down, um, estimated calorie requirements in the U.S. for somebody who is, um, you know, of average size uh, for, say, a, a female between age 18 
14 to 18, an active lifestyle. So I would consider jogging one hour a day an active lifestyle. Um, the estimate that they're going to burn 2,400 calories a day. And from the little thing that we just did based on BMI and jogging for an hour, we came up with 2,390, okay? So this is a pretty good table to estimate whoa, how many calories per day you um, consume. And uh, so on average, uh, you know, for sedentary, that person only burns 1,800 calories a day versus active 2,400 calories a day. So that gives you 600 more calories um, to eat. All right, per day. If you like to eat, that is. Some people don't like to eat, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, and here's another um, <clears throat> uh, table that shows you, like, how many calories are in these types of foods that someone might find on their lunch tray other than beer. This is for a college textbook, and so I think they're trying to be funny, but for you guys, it would be um, soda, like non-diet soda, has about 100 calories for 8 ounces also, so just don't say beer, say soda for you guys. Um, so this is um, the amount of calories that each one of these things has, and this is how much time, if you walk or run, that it would take to, um, to burn off that amount of food that you just ate. And this, again, is for an average 70 kilogram uh, person. Okay, so let's try this. Um, the bottom line here is if you, the calories are, are in the chemical bonds of the food. Um, the more food you eat, the more calories you, you consume. And so you just want to calculate, you know, what do you have to do to burn off this type of food? So in this example, there, try this. There's a 70 kilogram person consumes a meal consisting of two hamburgers. Okay, two hamburgers three ounces of potato chips, eight ounces of ice cream, and a 12 ounce beer, well let's say soda. Um, calculate the number of calories in the meal and the number of minutes the person would have to vigorously play basketball in order to work off the meal. Whoops. Okay, so let's try that. Um, two hamburgers, three ounces of chips, this is just ma uh, addition basically, 12 ounces of beer, Oh, soda. Oops. Non diet. Um, okay, two hamburgers, two ounces, and what do we got? Eight ounces of ice cream. Okay. Alrighty. So if you look back on the table um, before where they have all of the calories, they said the calories for one hamburger was 350, so we've got two of them. So that's two times 350 calories. Uh, one ounce of chips had 108 calories. We have three ounces. Eight ounces of soda had 100 calories, but we have 12 ounces, so that's eight plus four is 12, so that's 1.5 times 100 calories. And then eight ounces of ice cream, it was, um, the value was uh, per four ounces, it was 175 per four ounces, so we're going to have to say two times 175 calories. Okay, add up all the calories there, and you come up with 1,524 calories. Wow, that's a lot of calories, and that um, kind of, um, you know, <clears throat> value meal, whatever, wherever you get that in the number of calories. Okay, and so that's 1,524, and then the question is, okay, how many, uh, calculate the number of calories in the meal, okay, and the number of minutes the person would have to vigorously play basketball in order to work off the meal. So we got to go back here and find out how many calories, let me see, that's the food calories, that's the, okay, here we go. Um, basketball, if you play basketball, you burn 440 calories per hour, okay, so 440, whoops, 440 calories per hour. Oops, am I going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. Okay, here I am. I'm going to make you guys car sick again, just watching me try to find the place. Okay, um, 440 calories for basketball per hour. So we want to know um, how many hours do I need, or how many minutes do I need to play basketball. So if it's, uh, we'd have to say the total calories divided by the amount of calories per hour. So it's going to be 1524 divided by 440. That equals 3.46 hours times 60 minutes per hour. That is going to give me an answer of 208 minutes. Okay, that's a lot of basketball to work off 
that lunch. So that's just to give you a feel for you know how much how how active you have to be to eat like that. And um, a lot of people aren't that active and they eat like that. And because of that, in the United States we have a lot of people who are overweight. And so if you look at the year 1999 to 2000 versus 2003 to 2004, um, looking at um, men, women, children, all adults, and then men, women, children. Let's just look at all adults and children. 30.5% um, are obese and 64.5% were overweight. And then that's creeping up to 32% and 66%. And the same thing with the kids, it's creeping up. And the reason why is just the bottom line is we, um, in the United States, we eat too much, okay? So I think um, it's a matter of, um, you know, public policy, public health policy that um, the U.S. government is trying to get the word out for people to uh, eat healthier diets that have uh, fewer processed foods because then um, you'll have more nutritional calories less empty calories and empty calorie is food that has no nutritional value and so if you're eating the nutritional foods that you need you'll be healthy and you should um, just accidentally take in fewer calories and also that's why on the on the pyramid they have somebody walking up the steps to to encourage people to try to work off um, the extra calories that they eat so that they won't store that extra um, those extra calories is fat. So the last um, thing we're going to talk about is, believe it or not, even though in the U.S. we have all these overweight people, uh, some people in the world are still hungry. And so we're going to talk about that um, in our last uh, lecture of this unit.